Syracuse-wise, John Wildhack had a press conference last week, laid out a number of things. They're going to have a uniform announcement of, of some sort coming out, right? A number of things I want to talk about today, but first I want to start by announcing that we have reached agreement to extend our longstanding partnership with Nike in terms of new uniforms. Oftentimes over the course of an agreement, you do see a change in, in uniforms, and I would tell you just, you know, and encourage our fans to stay tuned on that. He's got the first down to more, 45, 40, 35, 30 down the middle. Anglin to the right of the 20, 15, 10. The Orange rocked the dome right to bowl eligibility. I'm telling you now, you got to just put yourself on the map. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. We got to dial in, we got to be as close to perfect as we can possibly be. Right? The movement matters, the execution matters. The attention to detail matters. We talked about that yesterday. Going up, going up. We get out here, we're doing these drills, man. Dial them in for whatever you need to do, wherever you are at, so you can get them right. You make a mistake, you make a mistake this many times. This many times, and you don't do it again. First, first, first. That's what we're looking for. Every time we come out here and hit these drills, that's what we're looking for. That execution is what's going to mean we can play everybody by the time we get to the fourth quarter this year instead of sweating out freaking overtime games. Finish on three. One, two, three. Finish. Bombing cats out and finish them in the first freaking half instead of nail biting in overtime. Execution. All right, get us a break we up off this thing. 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. Do not be late. Do not be late. Let's go, family on three. One, two, three. Hey, Johnny Moss, Johnny. Trey Williams, DB. I got the best cleats in college football. That's all I gotta say. Hey, I'm gonna slide real quick. Let me show you something. Hey, bro. Look at these Dragon Ball Z jumps. Okay. Hey, yeah. look. Got that trill on the back. I had these cleats when I, I played Pop more and I would say when I was like eight years old. And I also watched Dragon Ball Z before like every game. So this is what this concept came, came about. So I don't know when I'm gonna bring these out, but I will bring these out. All oh, white. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Air Force Ones. Oh. Hey, shout out to New York. You know, the two tones. So I'm going to call these two tones. And my, my personal favorite. Hey, man. OBJ. Shout out to OBJ, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do something to these. I'm going I'm to I'm I'm definitely cuss some these, but. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come over here real quick. Come over here real quick. Oh, hey. Yeah, bro. Hey, look. Ah, uh, look, look, look. I'm the only big man on the team with these low tops, you heard? <laughs> All right? You see, the, you see the big clunky boys, you know, I don't even wear these, but you know, they style it sometimes, man. Then, you know, I got my favorite pair. I got super bads. These are discontinued, so I went and got every pair I could. <laughs> I got like 12 pairs of these man. laid up in the crib because I love it this <laughs> and I won't be able to wear them no more. So, ah. Definitely hey. the illest cleat game on the team for the big dogs. Man. There ain't no win. Hey, what line been doing it like this, though? Nah, y'all know. Y'all ain't seen it. Y'all see more of my, my cleats during the season? Have me on Instagram. Just type my name. It'll pop up. I believe that uh, building strength is that way to kind of give yourself the edge over another opponent. Kind of came to realization that strength plays a huge part. It's not only just technique. Sure, it's 80% technique, and a lot of it's mental, always up here. But I feel like that physical strength kind of, you know, kind of sets you apart. Ah, uh, no preference today. I'd be, I'd be okay with that. <laughs>
We're doing uh, banded speed squats on the box, just basically to work up your uh, hamstring explosiveness. This is more uh, technique and speed and explosiveness. Oh yeah, we're mic'd up today. Me, Antoine Cordy, Otto Zicardo. Just pound for pound, just the strongest kids on the team. Because Cordy, small guy, lifting like a horse. Otto, kind of a bigger guy, but for how much he weighs, he throws up lineman numbers like crazy. And then me, I'm just a freak of nature. What can I say, you know? <laughs> so modest. <laughs> You want to go in between, you want to go in 315. We'll go right in 315. I'm feeling good. Well, they just play a huge part. We see them more than our actual coaches. So having that kind of relationship and bond with them, it, you know, kind of just helps the chemistry with the team and just, you know, helps, helps everybody else just work out even harder. If I wanted to build a dream football team, I would just recruit a bunch of sumo wrestlers. Yeah, but they don't move very well. Still there. 400. You see how low they get, though? They're good with their hands. I'm just going to get it. also 400 pounds, and last I checked, the game doesn't play for 10 seconds. All right, we're running power every play. We're not passing. We're not passing. This is gonna be it. Quarterback is gonna be on our center. Yeah, he could be a little bit of a skinnier guy though, but he's still gonna be like 340. Yeah. That's what stood out to me. Like Wild Hack didn't say no. He said stay tuned, as if there's okay. something coming. But the biggest thing to me that stood out was the most important opinion there is the players. They should have the most insight in this because they're the ones wearing the uniforms. So I think Wild Hack is kind of sending the message like we've taken care of that. So what's up, man? Why the number change from 14 to 9 this year? Well, at first, I didn't want to change it because I wanted to be 14. Everybody knew me for 14. And I was like, oh, I'll just ride it out because that's the number I've always been and people know me for it. But then talking to your pops, I was like, dang, it's a new year, a new defense. Everybody knows what we're doing. So I was going to be just, all right, I'll just take nine and I'll go nine because nine is the number that I had in high school my senior year. And it was the number I kind of took off with and I got a lot of exposure with nine and I just felt like I just needed something new just to send a different message to everybody. So basically that. So where where the nickname NyQuil come from? NyQuil, well, I mean, on the field I like to hit people and I get a lot of big hits. NyQuil really puts you to sleep, so I just wanted something like that. Michael Nine is my new name, and that's just something I'm gonna ride with throughout my senior year and see where it takes me. You're getting that number one, so right. what went into that? I mean, as you can see, the atmosphere around here is changing, and we'll, we want to be number one this year, so I feel like that number one is it. Yeah, I feel you, man. It's definitely got to come out differently this year and just send a message. Now that we got our new numbers, it's gonna look so different. and. Yeah. The uniforms are so, like, everybody loves them, and it just, they look so good that when you play, you want to look good, and you have to have nice things to really feel like you can play at that level. And I feel like with these new uniforms, it's going to allow us to take the next step. Look good, feel good, play good, right? I mean, exactly. It's a new season and a new look. Syracuse football unveiling its new uniforms for the upcoming season during Orange Summer Kickoff at Turning Stone's Lava Nightclub. It's about to be a movie tonight. Tune in. It's going crazy. And they chose the first night of summer to show off their hot new threads. We're talking about the new agreement between Syracuse and Nike and what it meant for the SU Athletics Department. One thing we assumed it meant, new football uniforms. The beer has to be the perfect amount of scruffy. I don't want to look too clean. No, it's easy. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Easy. We got it. You know, one thing you've talked about a lot is faith. As you say, that is belief without evidence. How nice is it to have some evidence now of what type of work your student athletes have poured into this program? 
know, the young men in the, in the program has done a fantastic job, but my hat goes off to also the community and the administration along with the university. The, it's the family. It really is. And everybody pulling together, working like a village to get the thing done. And I, I'm proud of the young men. They've done a lot, but we couldn't have done it without these fans, the community, and the university. I will coach. I know you're not going to go anywhere with your feet. But for right now, we have a very special announcement. Fantastic. football pads on and go out there and hit somebody, man. You know how I am. Definitely just brings back the old style. We got the stripe, numbers on the side, stripes on the side. So it really brought old school Syracuse. It looked nice. But I feel like we're going to make the uniforms when we play in them. Uh, we're going to make them look even better. So can't wait. Yeah, you got to get the whole fit, the whole fit. Even that is motivation is just telling them that we haven't done anything really. We won 10 and 3, yes. That's a great accomplishment, but there's still more to be done. Everybody wants to be great. And just moving forward, we're going to have to continue to do that if we want to win. Hey, it's going to be a movie again this season. Tune in. <laughs> complete turnaround. It's like people are saying like we're a football school now. The blueprint's been laid out. All we got to do is just keep following the plan. 